Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'll be sharing with you how do you enter orders in interactive brokers and more importantly the understanding of order logic itself. So there is a few order I'd like to share with you today. So first off is the stop orders, okay, your limit orders and also your stop limit orders. Okay, before I get into this, uh, I'd like to share with you how do you actually pull out the order entry tab itself. Okay, so it's located under your new window, okay, under order entry. So if you click on this, it will pull out this, this tab itself. Okay, and the next one, this is for your order tab, meaning to say after you have entered um, active order, it will be placed under here. So any modification, okay, for the for the orders example, you like change the price, like will change the kind of execution, you can do it over here. Okay, before that, you will need to turn on this green border which is the layout so by turning it on okay once it has a green border you are able to move around your chart or your, your tab itself okay then you'll be able to place new tab so when you have actually you know place them according to your own liking then you just click on it okay to fix it to lock it in in place so the next time when you log in again you will all be there again okay so for now, um, let's go through what is the few kind of order logic. So the very first one, okay, is stop order. So what is stop order? Example, when the market is actually moving upwards, okay, example in this case, moving up. Okay, let's say the price right now is at, say, $8. Okay, so my, my, my thought is that I would like to enter the market when the price reaches ten dollar example here okay so when the price reached ten dollar i would like to i would like to get into the market itself i would like to buy buy a share in, in this uh, company so for this we need to place a buy stop this is the understanding of buy stop orders buy stop meaning to say i would like to start buying when the price reaches at Ten dollar in this case, ten dollar. Start buying ten dollar. Okay. So what if let's say the price? Okay. Example right now. This ten dollar. The price will come up here. I place the order today, and in the next few, you know, uh, when the market open and the next few day, the price linger over here. Okay, and it just stay over here. Okay, nothing will happen to to this trade, to this order itself because it has not reached the the ten dollar price point. Of course, provided if you have include um, the the type of the type of uh, order itself, the time in force order. I will go through that later. Okay, which is over here, day, and also another option GTC. Okay, so what if if let's say the price come here then when the market open right it gets down price start here and it start to move over here okay nothing will happen as well because it start buying at 10 the price example right now here is at say five dollar nothing will happen okay but what if when the market open the price gap up open here okay when it, if it open here let's say thirteen dollar you will get into the market Okay, so for buy buy stop, okay, it is good for you to have a price over here to start buying at a certain price, okay, and it prevent you from gap down, gap down issue, but it does not prevent you from gap up, okay. So this is something you need to take note of when you're using stop order. Okay, of course there is a way to uh, mitigate this issue. Uh, we'll get into that later. Okay, so once you have an understanding of buy stop, how do you place it over here in the order entry? First off. Choose the ticker that you would like to um, get into. Example, in this case, I like to buy into Facebook. Okay, Facebook. Uh, so whatever kind you want, maybe stock or CFD, up to your up to your choice. Okay, so I choose um, stock, buy. It's a long long entry. Okay, so quantity. This is the quantity. How many you are buying? Example, I'm buying ten. Okay, maybe let's let's do twenty. Okay, and over here, this is quantity. This is the type of um, order itself. So you can choose. LNT which is limit over here which is what I'm going to share with you all later for stop it is STP click on this STP stop 
stock price meaning to say what price you like to start buying in at so in this in this example it's ten dollar let's start buying in at ten dollar okay next this is day and gtc day meaning to say this order itself will only last for one trading day just one trading day gtc means good to cancel it means that this order will be will be in force or active till the day it got trigger or you cancel it manually yourself so in this case example i'll like choose day order just day okay with this this is actually um all for how you enter a buy stock this is the basic the basic of the basic okay next i get into limit order so now if you understand stop order right next is limit so when the price is moving up same scenario same example the price is moving up let's say reach here okay so this price point over here is say ten dollar okay so now my my rationale is i would like to get into the market when the price reaches at say seven dollar now so I'm, I'm not i'm not like starting to buy in another price in fact i want the price to retrace back or to move back or to drop down to a certain price point in this case seven dollar then i would like to buy in okay if using this understanding of stop order if i were to place here a, a seven dollar buy stop it will immediately get executed okay because buy stop meaning it means i will start buying at seven but in this case it is ten dollar already so it's above seven so i will immediately get executed in this case so buy stop is not what we want here in this scenario the correct one is buy limit why buy limit because buy limit is, it means that i would like to buy at most at seven dollar at most so when the price is above seven dollar i will not get in over here it will not get in as well okay when it reaches here at seven or below seven then i will get in okay so same scenario uh like what i showed earlier when the price is at over here okay let me change another color okay when the price is over here let's say it's move up here then the next day itself we gap up to let's say 13 dollar okay nothing will happen for me because mine is buy limit at most at seven dollar so i will not get into this but what if the market open okay and it gap down over to here to let's say five dollar okay so that means to say in this case i will be my order will be executed immediately because i'm buying at most seven okay but five is within seven so i will purchase the price at five dollar okay so for limit it prevents you it prevents from gap up scenario from gap up but it does not prevent a gap down scenario okay so you notice that for buy stop okay it prevent gap down but it does not prevent gap up in limit vice versa is actually opposite so in this case from this understanding of logic we came up with to the third point stop limit orders okay and stop limit orders okay so uh, before i touch into the stop limit how do you place a buy limit order exactly like this okay the same thing the type of um, ticket that I like to get in okay the direction itself quantity okay in this case the difference is over here instead of stop right we choose limit okay limit at what price in this scenario seven dollar day or GDC up to your choice okay so this is all for the limit itself okay next stop limit orders same scenario over here if the price right now is at say ten dollar okay i would like to get in okay at this price point say twelve dollar okay in this case in this scenario right usually we will put a buy stop correct like this exact same example over here buy stop okay but however i would like to prevent uh gap down okay gap down in this case buy stop does allow prevent gap down but at the same time i like to prevent gap up as well okay prevent gap up so 
in this case I will need to put a by limit together with the buy stop so buy limit how much should I have set for my buy limit you can it's, it's up to your own preference okay it's up to your own gauge in this case example I will use say $13 so meaning to say this is the range that I'll, I'll like to buy in this is like so what, what I call the magic zone so buy stop meaning to say I will start buying at $12 okay but at most I would like to buy $13 that's the max I would like to buy. So this is the range that I would like to buy. Anything below, I will not get in. Anything above, I will not get in as well. Okay, so this is buy limit order. So I will highly recommend this to make sure that you will not get execute at a price that you will not like to get in at because it might change the risk return ratio itself for your strategy in particular. Okay, so how do you place uh, uh, stop limit order? Same thing stop okay buy buy or sell quantity okay in this case it's not just a limit it's a buy it's a stop limit click on stop limit okay uh something to take note S some of y'all when y'all start an account right y'all might not have all this option you might need to take this thing click on this then you have more option for you to choose okay limit order okay this is limit right so you put on the limit price so the limit that we just shared earlier is $13 buy stop is $12 so over here 13 stop $12 okay so double check for this day or GTC okay so this is all for your you know stop orders limit orders and your stop limit orders okay next so once you have already you know um, put your entry order Next, you would like to definitely have an option to put your profit taker, your TP, take profit, okay, or your stop loss, SL. Okay, so in this case, how do you how, how do you put these two in? Once you have placed the entry order, okay, first off, then under here at advance, click on the advance. You will see this attach stop loss and profit taker on this so actually these two when you combine these two right stop loss and the profit taker that it is known as a bracket order tick on the bracket okay once you tick here it will trigger these two it will activate these two option then for profit taker in the system is smart enough to know that for profit taker is a limit for stop loss is a stop so you need not change anything over here only for more advanced people uh, if I like to use advanced strategy then you might use other you know other kinds of method but in this case this is good enough so for here you just set the price according to what you want so let's use an example in this case to set a entry price and a TP with a stop loss so you will better understand this this entire scenario okay so price example five dollar over here so this is Facebook Facebook. So the current current price is five dollar. I would like to get in at example over here seven dollar. Okay, the max the maximum I would like to buy in is at eight dollar. Okay, so with this I would like to set my stop loss example at say four dollar over here. So this is my stop loss. This is my buy stop. This is my buy limit. Okay, then last thing, I'll need to have a take profit. So example, take profit is at say $12. This is my TP. Okay, so with all this in mind, you will put all this information into this chart over here. So first off, it's a it's a buy stop and a buy limit. So choose um, Facebook first, buy, buy entry, quantity, how many you want to buy in, stop limit. Okay, click stop limit. Then next, your buy limit is $8, buy stop is $7. Buy limit, $8, buy stop. 
okay day or gtc up to your choice then next advance bracket click on this stop loss four dollar tp twelve dollar tp twelve dollar stop loss four dollar okay so for this uh your bracket order strongly recommend to use gtc why because once your entry has been triggered has, has been activated your bracket order your take profit and your stop loss must always be there that this is a very important understanding for you to know because if you don't have this your price can just go all the way up i mean up is good but if let's say you go all the way down even though it's um slightly unlikely to go all the way down all the way but it's not good because it will ruin your strategy it will be different from what you are expecting or your risk return example you're risking just ten dollar but if you have don't have this in place your stop loss you might lose more than ten dollar so this is something you must take note okay so with this this is all for your entry how do you enter okay using buy stop okay or buy limit or combination of buy stop limit okay with the understanding of bracket orders inclusive of stop loss and tp okay one more important thing i'll like share with you all is for this when you open up this this window over here uh take note that for this is actually the option that i use is interactive okay there might be you know some people will use simplify or rapid but i'm using interactive so just to take note okay that's all for this video thank you